all right welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series uh, we're going to talk about um, the mobile devices we have seen all the other uh, policies spam malware and um, the what was that the other one was mail flow like we want more control of how different emails or different user can be their email can be um, sort out and we can do but what about the mobile devices uh, like people they um, want uh, before in the past companies will uh, give users the blackberries or rem devices the research in motion blackberry and after a while like uh, when iphone came blackberry was out the window uh, and people started using um, iphones and androids for per e for personal emails as well as business emails and you know we uh, now when user um, start using those devices we should have some control over that like if a user leaves how to delete that device like they do not get access of course we can um, like disable their accounts but that only stops them from getting new emails but it does not uh, do anything for what they already have stored on their devices so we have a thing for that as well as uh, do we want uh, all the devices to be allowed on the thing uh, on our system or we want certain devices with certain firmware updates like uh, current version of iOS is uh, I believe iOS 13 for Android it's somewhere like 9 or 10 so you know for there's a little bit of wiggle room that uh, you, we want uh, from 10 to 13 iOS we allow them and then all those rules that uh, your company can set up so over there this the, uh, these are not active because we haven't added any account yet let me see if mine is working that I added earlier in the meanwhile well it's working the other thing is on the screen is added what it tells you is uh, do you want when when the system detects that a new device is trying to access the email for any user what to do with it allow access block it or quarantine it so let's allow access for the time being it's telling me that it needs to be oh it's all the set password rules control the screen activate <coughs> so i have gotten all the email and all that <coughs> so if i click um, so basically now um, the policies that I said earlier they are uh, fully in effect there is an uh, allow synchronization um, to device that are not made managed by rules or personal exemptions like if there are any then do you want them allowed or not uh, any administrator to receive quarantine emails like if uh, an, uh, an email is being quarantined then an admin gets a notification so you can go and actually check and release it the last is no custom text is added to the message sent to user by exchange like do you want a custom message that will be added we can like quarantine devices as well what that will do is that if I click here okay it's not showing up at the moment it should Oh no, that might not be. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Nothing is showing up at the moment here. So the other um like device should show up here. I can add another account uh, for Aslan H. I'm gonna do that in a moment so that let me pause and do it so you know if something needs to be go down from the back end while I'm talking about this it can be done in the background uh, give me a few moments all right so I added the other email address as well let's see if it shows up here and yes it does so once it detects um, um, a new device is being 
setup here I see if I get the 500 no it's fully working so basically and like you will have all the devices here if you have selected quarantine you have two options allow access so they get the access no matter what block access if you do not want users to get uh, their personal devices and access email work email third one is quarantine you want to decide whether to block that user or not and then of course there's an option that if quarantine um, uh, the administrator that hey do you have a new device in the quarantine go and look at it and the third one is just send the message uh, about the user that hey your the mobile device has been quarantined or blocked please do not use it contact an administrator if you really must need a mobile device to be configured to access um, work email if we click on the pencil icon we can go into the settings and we can see what settings um, it will show up basically let's go full all the way up so the status is okay first thing was about two minutes ago it was not successful it's not giving us a date um, outlook and device type outlook it is android 8 and outlook the access stat is state is quarantined and set by global permission click here for more information policy applied from this domain if we click it and edit it and allow it save it now if we refresh it it's not gonna show up here and my device uh, if they have an email uh, my device will delete all the emails so let's go and talk about this one so this is the default policies you can add more policies you can see they are exactly all the options in there will exactly the same like we have seen in the past with office uh, it's a standard uh, you can name it like you can name it for IT let's do it this IT uh, no sales mm. I O I O O S policy this is the default policy it will be applied to all new users so it's not allow mobile mobile devices that don't fully support these policies so do you want mobile devices to access it or not um, those that who do not fully support it so example it will check against uh, the device software and hardware requirements if it met they will be allowed other will be rejected the third one is require a password does it require a password or not yes you can allow simple password that can be if you see right here it's giving you like it could be a, like a pin number or you want a something uh, which a combination of letters and numbers let's go with this one and password on this many characters set so it could be one four at least because we are uh, require a password and then encryption on device that's the one and then minimum password length so if you say that it should be at least eight character length then what's gonna happen is that it has to be at least eight <clears throat> sign on failure before the device is wiped for example somebody's tried to just keep ending password so you know that it's not the user that device will be wiped let's say it's 10 requires signing after the device has been inactive for like 15 minutes 20 minutes something like that let's put 15 here enforce lifetime the number of days that the policy it can uh, at my work it's uh, it's 90 days yes so it's pretty standard 90 days password recycle count that uh, this is a very interesting one this is basically saying that uh, so we love to use the same password over and over again imagine if somebody has been using that password for like five years and so what we want to do is that for example at my work it's I believe it's 14 or no it's something else let's I'm gonna put seven 
So basically, they cannot use the same password before changing, uh, trying seven passwords. And then in computers like Active Directory, there is another option which restricts the user, saying that hey, like you know, for the extra smart of us, that he said that they say I'm not gonna pass change my password ever. I'm gonna just change it seven times, and you know now. I have the same password like I'm using so there is a restriction that uh, they have to use this password for at least two weeks minimum or whatever days they say so but I think it's this option is not here because of this that the password lifetime is 90 days and it's being enforced let's save it so we have two policies default one and iOS if I go to the default and open it you're gonna see the exact same thing the default and all that and then you see all the options uh, about the same so I can cancel it and you're gonna you can make another policy for Android make some little bit changes here and there so this is the one so let's get back and refresh it and no devices are fine because they are being allowed what if I click on quarantine am I going to see my device again and yes Aslan H is back let's click on it one more time and I wanted to show you that lost successful thing I think he does not have an email nothing being downloaded and that's why so what we can do is I can allow it for the time being again I'm gonna quickly send an email to his address give me a few moments all right so what I've done is I've uh, forwarded uh, an email from one of my gmail addresses to that address and hopefully it should show up over there let's refresh it and see if this um, is th that's the case let me see others inbox Aslan. so while it's you know being processed in the back end let's go and see we don't see the device here we don't see the device success rules either here well, let's let's see what are they these are very simple these are like what is the device family all families and then what is the model so and what do you want them to be done it's exactly same here so we're gonna exit out of here this one is like if a device is being quarantined you can release it you can permanently block it and you can add a device as well create a rule for similar mobile devices uh, select it and then click on that so we go and see where it actually that device is um, because we don't see the device here and there's no way over here while they should have like put a tab here well we cannot see all the mobile devices that's not the case that may be in the new exchange admin center that they sent a notification and I think this is the one new one so I can either go here to recipients and click on Aslan age and over here this is the v mobile devices here or I can go here in the new center and click on Aslan and get my um, mail flow setting email address everything and mailbox policies more action and convert to share legend so I don't see it over here mailbox see he has nothing so about that I think it's this one email app so I'm gonna click here and see Outlook on the web the um, nope it's just the email app if they are uh, allowed or not uh, if I disable it I think they cannot access it over the me um, from the mobile but I don't see uh, any what I'm really looking for that is is it going to be in a different managed trace like no data all right so since I think my it's they are being moving things around so it's not here but if I click, click on view details about mobile devices it's right there and you say the status state is quarantine and if we click on this it's not successful still all 
okay so it's not uh, it's still quarantine actually so let's go back there and it's not it's not quarantine it's allowed uh, I think once it is in quarantine save you have to actually release it probably let's allow it updating and now hopefully if I go to the recipients and click on in unified messaging if I enable it so let's go to V it still says quarantine but let's allow it here access granted right here and so now if I save it let's see what happens okay that's good now let's go let me get that again quarantine I think it's a little bit uh, broken slow whatever you want to call it so the really the other thing that I wanted to show is wipe data that is when somebody leaves and somebody leaves your organization or you know they are no longer working here then you can actually wipe data so the thing is when the next time it tries to synchronize with the server uh, servers deletes everything on that device all the emails I tried that earlier and that is the case so uh, I tried on Aslan account and that was working so if I go to I can show you Aslan and if I show you his um, Uh, you see access granted and when I click on the pencil you will see what was the last successful sync was done about two minutes ago so this is the option so it takes just a little bit time for some reason it's a little bit slow um, so if I go back to nope not him Aslan H and click and hopefully it's not saying quarantine if it's saying okay it's gonna take some time like I said so that's what I wanted to show you you can wipe data and that will be removed and other than that um, this should be good uh, let me see one more thing alright so I checked the phone so it's my email is still not there let's quickly try to open the Outlook give as land address as land each and let's see if I have anything in the inbox okay a few emails are there uh, it's for as land H all right so that's good to know it's aslan h yes all right so maybe it's just the issue of uh, this not working for some it's it's definitely taking its time okay so I had released it so it should be good it's still saying quarantined says granted and save it I'm gonna pause the video here I'm gonna give it like 30 minutes to see if it goes through in the back end all right so it took a minute or two I think uh, um, it's a little bit behind or the setting is not working very properly 
what I did is I went here mobile devices I added it the thing to allow and then when I save it and did it I got all my emails instantaneously so if I can go back to the recipients and I show you the device detail now it says access granted and when I click on this thing on the edit button it says just about a minute ago it was done so how to uh, wipe data Aslan has left uh, he no longer works here we can wipe the data we when, once we click the wipe what it's saying is evict from your organization by forcing it to erase all data on the device every time it tries to con connect so whenever next time the device looks for automatically for new emails the server will tell him hey you got to delete the ones that you already have no new emails for you so you must cancel the wipe and restart all right so what was that oh wipe data synchronization from the device all right so wipe pending if I go and refresh the synchronization on my outlook I can save it and I'm gonna see in a minute on my phone that all the emails will be gone all right so basically what it did it it completely removed the my account from um, uh, my mobile device I wish I could show you the screen um, but this is a screen capture on my mobile screen but uh, if I go there Aslan H there is no longer on my device so remote device 5 it should say successful so basically that's how you do it the account completely gets removed from the user's device so this is all that I wanted to show you if this video has helped you please uh, comment subscribe share and rate and you have a good day see you in the next video